Mike Hill. I'd like this to be a conclusion. I really would. Horse racing, I wrote you a narrative two years ago and told you everything that was going on at Penn National. Gambling, pulling horses, race fixing. What did it get me? The most hated man in racing. ESPN, check it out yourself. Oh, and by the way, ESPN, when you play a clip and show horses breaking down, make sure I'm in the race because I wasn't. See, there's to the level of protection and cover-up. But what do we know now? We know that they're all going to jail. FBI arrests. At Penn National. RICO, which means organized crime. Which is what I said, remember? And everybody thought that was funny. See these guys? They didn't think it was funny. They were afraid. They were afraid of this moment that I'm speaking to you right now. They were afraid that these two organizations of crime was going to land and hit together. Because I was trying to do that, and they know. In fact, I'm going to refer to videos that we did. Remember New Hampshire? Remember the text messages? Hell, where they only threatened my life and my sons. Remember I went to the FBI? They stopped me right at the door. You know why? They knew it was on the phone. They knew if they have to open up a charge, that's one of the kill shots. And I'll explain the kill shots later. But I just want you to know, horse racing, people of horse racing, the guys here were talking to them. In fact, that text from a lawyer that worked for them, I know something you don't know, that you should. Very, very valuable information, leverage. Everything I have here, you'll be able to see. What if I can prove you're right about Alan Pincus and Ray Pollock? This is important. That means these guys are talking to the people at Penn National. What did I say with Pincus? I said that Pincus was working for Penn National. They're saying I'm right. Pollock was in the media throwing negative press out. Maybe he was working for Penn too. That's what they found out. Why the concern? Because you just might believe in two miracles. Meaning, what I said about horse racing with the commission and everything is now true. In fact, one of those arrests just shot himself in the head yesterday. A low-level guy. All right? Off a narrative again that I wrote two years ago. Now, I just gave you a series of six videos. This being the sixth with the state of corruption in New Hampshire. Again, as big as horse racing is, and I'm going to explain to you, this could change horse racing. This may be the savior of horse racing by admitting what's wrong with horse racing, that it is corrupt, that it is gambling. You've got a bunch of trainers that are gambling degenerates. Of course they're cheating, which was I became public enemy number one. Look. Controversial owner hits the tops. Why am I controversial? Because I'm telling the truth. Winning this man in racing, telling the truth. Racing Almanac, one more race than anybody, telling the truth. So I knew what was going on in horse racing. Now I'm taking that, and I'm speaking to the feds directly, and not the Bedford, New Hampshire feds. Because I know you're working with Kakavis, who told you I was coming to the office. But I've already expected that. I wanted you to do that. And I brought a witness in to see you do that. I expect it. Now, let's wrap them together. The FBI is doing their job on horse racing. Now it's our job. That job's just about done. You're going to read about another 70 to 80 arrests in the next two months. Now, let me explain a way where we can put all these guys in jail. They thought it was funny, let's go. Let's call this exercise kill shots, all right? Because you asked, how can we put these people in jail? What are we gonna do about it? What can we do about it? Well, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you what you can do about it. 
let's just let's let's talk about the kill shots. All right, the IRS. Let's do that. All right. Remember now, any one of these hits, they all go to jail, quite literally. And trust me, they all deserve it. All right. FBI. I have an individual working for me. Can't tell you his name. God only knows what might happen to him. But he's working through the criminal division of the IRS. That'll give us Walker, Hyder. And that'll start breaking up the game. DRA, all right? Even that could put them all to sleep. We're not done. Let's do the FBI. Remember that recent video? They blocked me outside the door because they couldn't see the evidence. Because, again, that evidence, when it does with the uh, text messages, explains to you that he's threatening my life, which was an attorney that worked for me. I've already solved the crime, and so do they. That's why they barred the doors and tried to throw me out, because I would give them the evidence. So the FBI knows if they go to that lawyer that used to work for me. He gives them his handlers, which is Walker, which is Morris Mahoney. You see? Any piece, it caves in. Depositions. You think we're going to have one lawyer sit down with me, which is why they pulled all the depositions, which is why they won't even have a deposition with me anymore. Listen, the one I did, I'm filing a RICO charge against them. How'd that deposition go for them? Now, and the media. The media is the fourth kill shot, right? You don't have to look hard. Listen, all my signs in mortgage specialists on the office, it says FBI cover-up. Did the National Telegraph call me up and say, hey, what's that about? Uh, no. Manchester Union leader? No. Channel 9? No. No TV, no radio, no newspaper, no media. FBI cover-up. That doesn't meet your expectations to ask a question. Really? Who? Why? They know why. We live in a corrupt state. I just have a video that shows hard evidence of Shaheen. What extortion? Good, we take her out, then she's out. Now, I gave you the thing on FRM, the audio. FRM takes out the AG, the senator who ran the cover-up, Oh, the U.S. attorney who prosecuted using a cover-up. Wow. You see? It's not falling, falling together. Now, who protects them? Remember the PCC video? She protects them. Do you remember why I said in the divorce case, this woman named Ron Wise had the therapist records? Who was going to turn her in? When I pressed her, who knew she was the golden girl? She was the gatekeeper of hell. She's the one that pulls their license. She had to be saved. Who knows where the bones are buried than her? So they went to save her. But now that we've got her, we'll take out the PCC. Do you remember I talked to you about the lawyers? There's another element here. She holds control of their license, but they have committed enough crimes themselves and been complicit. So you add that on to the license is why 4,000 attorneys isn't raising your hand going, he's right. We live in a state that has been born of corruption. Every single piece. Friedman, remember him? He's on the BBO. He is the equivalent to Wise at the PCC. See, Massachusetts, you're not a net. Exempt here. There's your boy right there. The Board of Overseers in Massachusetts is just as corrupt as the PCC. You think about that. The courts? Judge McHugh. I got my invitation. You know what my invitation's to? His awards dinner. That's the judge of the year. Or can you say, we could get him the hell out of town? He's on them. McHugh goes, I'm going to look guilty. Tell you what, we'll give you an award, and then we'll boot your ass out. 
And that's exactly what happened. So there's the court, there's McHugh. CCR, the account, remember the IRS? We go to the IRS, we get them too, which was bought by Grant Thornton. You think Grant Thornton? What do we ask Grant Thornton? Did you know they were doing this corruption when you bought them? Let's find out. That could take him out. And while we're at it, we could take the IRS guy, Tim Powell, who did a negotiation. That goes back. See how the kill shots are working? You asked how it's done. I'm going to do it all myself. Thanks. So who we left out? Hyder. Oh, here's the beauty. That's one of the cases. We get Hyder, and I will have the FBI speak to Hyder and the IRS. Hyder was the guy leveraged. He'll give you Walker. He'll give you McHugh. He'll give you Tober. I mean, it all falls apart. So, yes, Virginia, we can bring them all to jail. I want you, the people of New Hampshire, and horse racing. This is corruption. We have five videos, this being the six. I want you to go through. I told you from the beginning, I identified the players. Then I told you, I will expose them. You've seen John Ross in court. You've seen McHugh. If you can't see that that's corruption, you're beyond help. Which I wonder. Now we turn around and, and these pieces together. You see the text message where they threaten my life. They tell me they're taking pictures and they're following me. Who's they? This is an attorney who's threatened to kill me if I come forwards. Because he's afraid of these guys. Now I'm going to be pressing that. But look through these videos again. I caught them for you. And now I'm showing you how to bring it to a conclusion. And you ask yourself, what can we do and why? I want you to look at your children. How about your children that are graduating from college who can't find employment? You see, corruption comes with a cost. And how about how many companies and industries that didn't come into this state because they wouldn't pay the tax for Bill Shaheen? Right. How many? How many opportunities did those children graduating from college, young people, not have a job here? That could be why. And when you go into the justice system and it's that corrupt, where you've got lawyers coming into this, young people coming in with the thought of doing good, the first thing they're going to be taught is forget about this. This is corrupt. You're going to have to play the game. Is that what our society has gone? Our country almost collapsed because of corruption. Now this state is complete. Which is, I'm saying, life and death. Because I have a calculated risk at this point, thinking, believe me, they'd have killed me earlier if they could. Uh, listen, in horse racing, I've had a gun put to my head. Said that my brain's going to be on the racing form if I talk. Well, I'm still here talking. You know what? They can only kid you once. And they can only eat you once. So you know what? Let's go. But I'm telling you, that's it. Watch these videos and work with me. Horse racing. If you want to save your sport, admit what's wrong. Let's do it. Listen, the casino industry are buying up the thoroughbred tracks across the country. Do you think they want to be in thoroughbred racing? They get guaranteed income. They got one person that takes care of a thousand slot machines. Think about it. There's one thing casinos are better at than gambling. Security. Right? Cameras. You want to stop all fraud and horse racing? Put a camera in every stall. Done. Now they must know that. They want the death of horse racing. Think about all the bad press you're getting now at the time where you celebrate horse racing. This is organized crime of two different entities that I had the unlikeliness of bumping into. But what I also didn't was morally accept it. And I'm here telling you, thinking this is going to get me killed. But you know. And the only reason why I'm telling you this, I still want to fight. Even if they do kill me. See? That's what you've got to know this now.